Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In this video, I am going to discussing about one of the very important concept in Java standard edition that is packages. So, let me take heading like packages. So, what is packages in Java language? It is one process or mechanism to encapsulate related classes and interfaces and subclasses, enums and sub packages technically called as what package. I am going to write here it is the process of it is the process or mechanism encapsulate encapsulate the related classes and interface and sub packages is called package observe and we can give one more definition it is a namespace it is a namespace to hold related classes related classes and interfaces we can also call as what package now according to functionality wise package it looks like a operating system provided package nothing but operating system provided folder what operating system providing folder will do it will store some subfolders or any files maybe belongs to video file, audio file, text file, word file, whatever it may be, it is going to store some information. In the same manner, our Java language packages seems like a operating system provided packages, but these are given by the compiler. Our Java related packages always given by whom? Compiler. Now, so basically, according to whatever the packages which we are going to use in our project level, packages are classified into three types. One is predefined packages, another one is user defined packages, user defined packages, and the one is third party vendor provided packages provides packages. Now, frankly speaking, we are not getting packages directly in the market. Packages always coming in the form of packages always coming in the form of jar files. Packages always coming in the form of jar files. Now, one of the best example for predefined package is what rt dot jar file so according to my project requirement i can able to provide my own package like a ram dot jar and some packages are given by third party vendors for example my java application wants to communicating with the database so definitely we require some logic those logics are not given by the Java language. Why those logics are not given by the Java language? Already we discussed very in detail in abstract methods. Will you please go to that videos? Third party vendor provides packages like ojdbc6.jar file. This is given by what? Oracle database server. So, here what is packages? It is the process or mechanism of encapsulate the related classes and interfaces and sub packages. And also we can say it is one namespace to hold related classes and interfaces. And it is looks like a operating system provided packages, but uh, working way is different. And these are always given by what compiler, mainly packages 
are classified into according to the way we are using in our project. There are three types. One is predefined, another one is user defined, third one is third party vendor provided packages. By default, your packages are not directly available. These packages are always available in the form of jar files. Clear. Now, let me give some hierarchy related to packages. Observe. If you want to write any logic in Java language, if you want to write any logic in Java language, either logic or code or implementation, implementation, we always prefer four areas. We always prefer four areas. One is static block, another one is, another one is non-static block, and third one is constructor. And fourth one is methods. Now, these uh, static block, non-static block constructors are available in the way classes. And uh, non-static -st methods, default methods are available in the interface, but not blocks. And we have enum. All these are always available in the form of dot class in the form of dot class files. Nothing but these are always coming in the form of what your bytecode. Now, this bytecode is available in sub packages. This bytecode is available in sub packages. Sub packages. And these sub packages are available in various main packages. Clear. So, main package contains, packages contain sub packages as well as dot class files. Those dot class files belongs to maybe class or interface or enum. These are contain some sub blocks like uh, static block, non static block, constructor, as well as method, all these things containing what your logic or code or implementation. Now, whenever we talk about the predefined jar file which is given by the Java software, once we meanwhile of installing Java into our machine, we will get one uh, jar file. That jar file name is what? Uh, rt.jar file. That jar file name is rt.jar file. Now, rt.jar file, rt.jar file available in the form of available in one folder that folder name is lib this lib folder is available in one more jar file that is what your one more folder that is jre the jre is available in the various java that means very simple guys whenever we install java software automatically we will get automatically we will get one predefined jar file that is what your rt dot jar file so, rt.jar files will provide the huge predefined code or logic or implementation. Maybe it is a user defined jar file or predefined jar file or third party vendor jar file. The main intention of the jar file contains what your logic or code or implementation in the form of byte code. So, this jar or packages, packages main intention is what combining related classes and interfaces and its related sub packages clear it seems like a operating system provided folder but functionality wise what are different these are always given by what compiler now what type of futures or what type of functionality can we able to achieve through through packages concept one is modularity second one is reduce searching process time Searching process time. Third one is third one is avoiding naming ambiguity. And as well as we guys know that security. These are the four features are given by the packages concept. The first one is modularity. What is the meaning of modularity? Very simple. To differentiate one type of functionality classes or interfaces to another type of functionality classes we can call as what modularity. So, if you go to any library, if you cleanly observe Java related books are available in oneself, .NET related books are available in oneself, mathematical related available in oneself and botany, biology related to oneself. So, maintaining some particular subject related books into oneself to other books is called what your modularity. Here, I want to communicating with the databases. 
I required one type of functionality. Those are available in where one package like java.sql or sql star. And I want to communicate with the files. Those are having some different functionality that is available in the where IO package. If you want to develop a data structure related programs, then what we required java.util. If you want to develop graphic related application, java.awt swing and applet. If you want to develop network related programs, then we have one more uh, uh, what we can call as a package like net. So, different functionality related classes are available are placing into different different places with the support of package technically called as what modularity clear and what is the meaning of reduce reducing searching process time very simple. I have assume 4000, 4500 or 2000 plus classes we have. Among those 4000 plus classes I want to search one. Assume there is no concept like a folder that means there is no concept like a package directly all the classes are dumped all the classes are available in the one area. So, assume there are 400 classes are there from the 4000 classes are there from the 4000 classes I want to pick one class. So, what uh, compiler will, will do? It will check each and every class. It will take more time. For example, if instead of placing 4000 classes in within the one area, if you want to place 4000 classes within the some 15 or 20 areas, then we can able to directly go to that folder and simply within the last time we can pick the data by the whom compiler pick the dot class file with the support of what compiler that is reducing searching process time. Selecting one class 4000 from the 4000 classes will take more time selecting the class from the what from the 400 or 300 or 500 classes with the support of the packages we can able to pick dot class file we can able to load byte code from secondary memory to primary memory with the support of compiler as well as what JVM. So, avoiding naming ambiguity, what is the meaning of avoiding naming ambiguity? Very simple, I want to develop one small class like A, I want to develop one class, I want to develop one code on top of one class name like A and I want to give that file name is what a.java. One more type of functionality also I want to develop on top of the same name like a.java. My intention is I want to develop two classes on top of the same name. I want to develop two classes on top of the same name. Assume there is no concept like packages, everything is available only one folder. Every class is available in one folder. How can I create two dot Java files within the same directory? It is not possible. Operating system does not give any chance to create like that. We cannot save same documentation with the help of what your a.java file more than one time. But I want to store I want to store two dot java file on, to on top of the same name I want to create then within the same area it is not pro within the same area it is not possible. Then we should go for what here different different location here different different location is nothing but different different folder that means different different packages. With the help of different different packages we can able to create more than one dot java file on top of the class name clear and one more thing is what here security whenever I am talking about the access modifier concept I am introducing this point like a security clear. Let me give you a quick review what is package, package is what it is a mechanism or process of encapsulating related uh, what we can call as classes and interfaces and as well as sub packages. It is looks like a Java operating system provided folder, but it is given by the compiler it is one namespace to hold the data. The main intention of the packages is only one thing it is hold the what uh, dot class files nothing but bytecode. Now, mainly we have three types one is the predefined and user defined as well as third party vendor provided packages. So, mainly all the packages maybe it is given by the Java or developed by the programmer or given by the third party vendor everything is coming in the form of jar files clear. Now, this is small hierarchy and usage of the packages. I hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe to channel. Thank you.